Meanwhile. What the f is this? I don't know. Okay, so I feel like I'm in the middle of this abusive relationship where I keep saying to myself, this is it, I am done, I don't need this anymore, I love myself and I will leave. But here we go yet again, back the following week, and you sit here asking yourself, why? Why do you do this to yourself? Well, here's the reason why. It's because of all the fond memories you once shared, the good times you hang on to hoping it could be that good again, the way it made you feel, the connections you made with others that shared the same experience. Whether that be between a father and a son, a brother and a sister, or even just a friend with another friend. You could really apply this to any of a dozen IPs over the years who have at best disappointed people of late, all the way to attacking them for even existing. The Acolyte has done more to show what the ugly side of Star Wars has become than any other show or film I can even think of. Even to an extent The Last Jedi. Because The Last Jedi was the first stone to be cast. The Acolyte may be the last. But of course, what am I saying? This isn't Star Wars, is it? This is Disney Star Wars, and that will forever be the best way to differentiate the two between what was and what is, the good and the bad. Episode 5 of The Acolyte is the beginning of unknown territory. Television critics only received the first four episodes, so does episode 5 correct everything and make it all better? In a word? No. That's a shocker. In a few words, the episode does nothing to remedy the situation whatsoever. The entire episode centers around two main things. First, an explanation where half of that $180 million budget went. And second, the Disney Star Wars equivalent of Parent Trap. So, in this 30 minute installment, we have, for the most part, a lightsaber fight that in some places is not too bad, some places is downright hilarious, and other parts utter lunacy. <laughs> Oh, and you know that discount Asian Ezra Miller looking guy that was obviously the bad guy, though the show tried to pretend wasn't the bad guy? Yeah, he's the bad guy. Literally everyone dies in this episode, <laughs> with the exception of Sol, Osha, May, and discount Asian Ezra Miller, which we knew had to happen because, well... Impossible. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. Especially as Discord Asian Ezra Miller actually uses the actual name. But a Jedi like you might call me Sith. That's retarded. So, one after another, each of these Jedi die, including X-23 and Yordi Yordi Yord. <laughs> but aside from a multi-million dollar lightsaber fight, which I'm sure every shill will swoon over, the only other plot element is Osha and May run into each other, have a little sister-sister moment where Osha says, you're a bad un. and May says, you've been lied to, you big booby pants. Okay. <laughs> then Osha gets knocked out, and May decides to parent trap Sol in the most retarded fashion. <laughs> you did it, did you <laughs> yeah, indeed it did, yeah. You might think, surely Soul can sense the difference between them. Oh, you. Never mind about that, silly. That would be hindering the plot. Incidentally, the helmet that discount Ezra Millen was wearing not only protected him from being sensed by the Jedi, but also is pretty much lightsaber proof. I mean, really lightsaber proof. <laughs> If this, if this sort of material, material exists, exists, why don't, why don't all, all Sith, Sith or, the or the Jedi, Jedi use, it use it against, against the their enemies, enemies in battle? In battle. I, 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 mm. Never mind, stop asking questions. So yeah, the episode ends with Sol and May, parent dropping his Osha, leaving the planet while real Osha is left in the hands of discount Ezra Miller, who says towards the very end... What extraordinary beings we are, even in the revelation of our triumph. We see the depth of our despair. What the fuck does that even mean? No idea. 
oh yeah, and that weird rodent thing saving Osha's little robot dude, guarantee you, that is going to be the solution to something. Probably tell Sol that May switched or whatever. Anyway, that's the episode. I'm sure this will be hailed as Star Wars is back. Or maybe these fake ass bitches will just release another soy filled video where they deflect their for criticism. Who knows? But either way, thank you for watching as far as you have done, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.